less than 8.4 vectors so first I'll show how to write a vector so let's say vector p vector p is uh, 3 and 10 then you have vector q which is 2 and 4 or let's say 4 and 12 and then they're asking you for a component so the way you write a component is we'll, we'll just say the component is v so v is equal to x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1 so x2 is the terminal terminal x1 is the initial so here let's say this is the initial point and this is the terminal point so the component form of the pq vector which is v is v is equal to 4 minus 3 and 12 minus 10 so component v is 1 and 2 On the test, they can also ask you to add or subtract vectors, so let's do that here. We'll keep the same points, P and Q. Or actually, let's, let's change it. We'll write two vectors, because we're subtracting and adding vectors. So let's say vector V is 3 and 4. And then vector Q is 7 and 9. So v plus q would equal to 3 plus 7 and 4 plus 9. So it would be 10 and 13. Let's say they ask you to, sub to like subtract the vectors. So v minus q is equal to 3 minus 7. The order in subtraction matters. And 4 minus 9. So negative 4 and negative 5. Let's say they ask for q minus v. Then it would be different. It would be 7 minus 3 and 9 minus 4. So it would equal to 4 and 5. Okay, let's do question 28 in the book. So in question 28a, they're asking for the component form and they gave us 17 and 80 for as our initial point and negative 72 and 53 as our terminal point. So this is initial, this is terminal. So to get vector v, we, all we have to do is terminal minus initial. So vector negative 72 minus 17, then negative or 53 minus 80. So this will give us negative 89 and negative 27. You can also write this in a different way. This is called linear combination form, where you just write negative 89i plus minus negative 27j, because you cannot subtract vectors, you can only add vectors. So you can just write it as negative 89i minus 27j. Like this, this is also acceptable, it's fine. So for 28B, B, they're asking for the terminal point when the initial point changes. So the vector stays the same, so this is still the same vector, or a component rather. So the terminal of x, which is x2, first I'll write the, the new initial point. So the new initial point, initial, the new initial point is negative 13. 
and negative 12 and they're asking for the terminal which will be x2 and y2 and the component says the same so it's negative 89 and negative 27 so x2 minus minus 13 gives you negative 89 and y2 minus minus 12 gives you negative 27 so x2 is equal to negative 102 and the y2 gives you negative 39 so the new terminal is negative 102 and negative 39 question 44 here they're just asking for s minus r plus w so we so we subtract this this vector from this vector and then we add vector w so we can just do s of x which is negative 1 then minus 2 then plus 3 or plus minus 3 so plus minus 3 then for y we can do negative 2 minus plus 10 plus 7 so this will give us negative 6 and negative 5 so question 56 they're asking here for a unit vector a unit vector is a vector where if you get the magnitude the magnitude will always equal 1 so the way you get the magnitude let's try to get the magnitude for this vector here so magnitude this is the symbol for the magnitude these two lines here and here is equal to radical x squared plus y squared this is x and this is y so the magnitude for the vector w would be negative 11 squared plus 60 squared which would give you 61 so let's try this in another form here so negative 11 and 60 so the way to convert this vector into a unit vector is by dividing each part by the magnitude so this is our magnitude that's 61 so we do w is equal to the the x over the magnitude so negative 11 over 61 and then the y over the magnitude so 60 over 61 and this is our unit vector so if we try to get the unit vector for this one here so radical negative 11 over 61 squared plus 60 over 61 squared it should give you one so in question 72 they give you the magnitude and the theta and they're asking you to write it in linear combination form so let's say linear combination form is a plus or a i plus b j or x i plus x or y j so the formula for the x or a and the b or y so a is equal to the magnitude so it's v then cosine theta it's very similar to what we took in previous lesson then b is the magnitude and then sine theta so here a would be radical 17 cosine 4 pi over 3 which will give you negative 17 over 2 or radical no negative 17 over 2 and b is equal to the magnitude so radical 17 sine 4 pi over 3 so it's negative radical 51 over 2 
So the answer would be negative radical 17 over 2i plus or minus radical 51 over 2j. So question 76, it's the other way around from the previous question. We need to find the magnitude and the angle. So first of all, the magnitude. So the magnitude is equal to the a squared plus b squared under the radical. So negative 5 squared plus 8 squared, which will give you radical 89. Then theta, the first step to find theta is to determine the which quadrant? So negative 5 and 8 is in quadrant 2. And now we can find theta. So tan of negative y over x. So make sure your quadrant, make sure your calculator is in is no longer in complex form and make sure it's in degrees. Or radian. So I'll use degrees here. So tan inverse of 8 over negative 5 which will give you negative 57.9 then if theta prime so shift tan tan of negative 57.9 take the positive value so it's 57.9 I'll take 58 so 58 so then theta in quadrant 2 is equal to 180 this is in degree this is in degree minus 58 which will equal to 122 so there we have the magnitude and we have the theta so we'll do one question for sketching so in question 17 they gave us V like this and they gave us W like this and they asked us to find V plus W or sketch it at least so first of all you'll move the vector or whichever one you want into the opposite side of the other one so here it will be it will go from tail to head and then tail to head then, then after that, you're going to draw a vector, a third one, from the tail to the head. Like this. And this vector here will be V plus W. If you want to find V minus W, V minus W, it will be the other way around. So it will look like this. This is V minus W. And this is V plus W. 